Good morning. I am just going to get my iPad set up on the side here. All right. I don't know if I can see your comments or not. Oh. Swipe left to review. <laughs> okay. morning Donna there we go okay just getting my tip ready here good morning I know it's a bit early today earlier than we usually do While everyone's joining, I'm just going to polish my tip here. I'm using um, one of our Tippy's tips, and I'm going to polish it with number seven gel polish. Oops, make sure. <laughs> I'm having a hard time this morning. I'm going to flip my camera a little bit here. Are you guys technical difficulties? Okay. I think we're good now. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to polish my tip with number um, 007 gel polish. It's this really, really pretty um, soft pink. I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but we have a brand new pink gel polish launching on February 14th, just for Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, I would call it like a kind of a deep carnation pink. going to do two thin coats of number seven gel polish and then we're going to pop this in the lamp for a cure and what we're doing today is just in time for valentine's day we are going to create a crystal heart using our ugly duck and clear's mud crystals and i'm popping this in the lamp for a cure morning crystal okay so i'm going to be using a mix of crystals We've got some of our fuchsia. Let me just point them out here because I've got them all on the side here ready for me. But we've got our fuchsia. We've got our light rose. We've got our rose opal in different sizes here. I've got various sizes. So at the end of the video, I'll make sure um, I write in the description which crystals I'm using um, and which sizes I've used. And we're also using our clear as mud, um, silver caviar beads as well, just to fill in some spaces. And I'm also going to be reaching for, um, our number 103 gel polish, which is this beautiful, um, foil glitter. It's like a kind of, um, a rose gold ish. I, I call it more of like a dusty rose. Really, really pretty. Perfect for Valentine's day. Morning, Marcy. Hi, DL. Hi, Nadine. Hi, Cam Sippy. Hi, Sandra. Ooh, lots of you joining this morning. That's awesome. Okay. One more coat of number 007 on our tip here. This is a Tippy's tip um, pointed almond in size zero. So this is a larger one. Just so I could do a nice big heart on there and show you guys how I do my crystal hearts. Hi, Chloe. Got a little fluff in there. Okay, let's pop that in the lamp for another cure. So while this is curing, let's go ahead. I'm going to scoop my crystals over. So we've got some um these are rose opal ss3 they're <clears throat> tiny tiny little guys then we've got some rose opal ss10s 
I've got some Rose Opal SS16, I believe. Let me just, oh, these are SS12. Then I've got some Light Rose SS16. These are the biggest ones. They're so sparkly. Then we've got some Light Rose SS5. I'm just scooting them over there. SS5. Light rose, I've got one here. I need to put more out, but these this one, this size is SS8, I believe. Oh my goodness, I'm off my game today. It's SS10. Let me just pop a couple more down just in case. Light rose SS10. And then we're getting into the fuchsia. So we've got fuchsia SS16. Beautiful, beautiful, deep, rich fuchsia. Then I've got Fuchsia in SS8. And then S, oops, I'm moving down just in case. Fuchsia in SS8 here. Scoot these over so they're in the frame. Lots of crystals going on. <laughs> and then we've got Fuchsia in SS5. So a good mix of um, colors and sizes here. And this will make it easier to make our heart um, more accurately shaped. If I were to use all big um, and not varying sizes, it it's, wouldn't be um, as like a pronounced heart shape as this. And then we'll go in and we'll just kind of refine everything with some um, beads. Thanks, Sandra, sorry. I know. Uh, I was out of screen there for a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our number 103 gel polish, <clears throat> which is one of our beautiful kind of platinum um, foil glitter or gel polishes, and I'm going to map out a heart shape on the nail. Let's do two. We're going to do a larger one down here. And I'm going to kind of make it on an angle. Just so to start the heart, I put down kind of a bead of the gel polish. And then I'll put a bead on the other side. And I'm using the dotting tool end of my blinger. And I'm going to join the two dots to create the top part of the heart. And then you can kind of refine it. Um, if you wanted to use your brush for this part, you could too. But I just find it's easier using the dotting tool to create the top parts of the hearts there. Or the heart. And then I'm going to go up more. There we go. And then I start bringing it down to a point on either side. So I'll just do it gradually to try and get the heart um, as even as possible. Another tip that you could do is you've done the two um, dots on either side and you've brought them to a point in the center. You could go straight down and kind of pull the gel down to create kind of a line down the middle and then join the halves to create um, either side of the heart. And then this is just a, um, a guide for us to put our crystals over top. Also so that if there's any space in between the crystals or if we um, don't have a bead in a certain area, um, the soft pink gel polish isn't going to shine through completely. It'll have this sparkly base. So then it'll give the illusion that it's completely full with crystals and beads and stuff. So just keep moving this around until you are happy with the shape of your heart and the size of your heart. It's always better um, to start a little bit smaller than you want because you can see as I'm kind of perfecting it, the heart's getting a little bit bigger, which is fine because I have allowed for that by creating the heart a little bit smaller initially. So I'm just using the dotting tool end of my blinger again and manipulating this gel polish around on the nail. Okay, make sure I'm not missing anything there. All right, and let's do, let's do a little one up here. Okay, so two little dots. And then we're gonna join them together in the center to a nice point. This is just acting as a guide and a base for our crystals. Okay, 
looking at the balance here. All right, that's good for me. So let's go ahead and pop that in the lamp for a cure. And while that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my shticket because we are using our trusty shticket today to adhere our crystals and our beads. Get my beads ready on the side here. I'm going to be using a mix of sizes from um, Ugly Duckling and the Caviar Beads as well. Um, it's maybe a little bit difficult to see on the nail here, but I did use one of our larger sizes and then our smallest size um, just to add more interest to the nail. I mean, there's a lot going on already with all the crystals, but oh, the gold, Donna, the gold I used is actually, um, it's like a, it's like a pinky gold, not quite rose gold, and it's number 103 in our gel polish. And then the base color I used was number 007. And I'm grabbing my trusty shticket, of course. Can't do crystals without shticket. All right, let's go ahead and grab this nail out. All righty. I'm gonna scoot my crystals over to the side for now just so I can work a little bit easier. I'll just move them out of the way a little bit. And I don't know if you guys know or if you've heard, but our Clear as Mud crystals are actually on special for the month of De um, <laughs> December. On the month of February, they are 15% off for all of our Clear as Mud crystals. So flat backs, flat back shapes, all of the colors, all of the pointed backs, um, all of the Clear as Mud crystals are on special. So if you haven't tried them yet, this is a great opportunity to do so. Okay, so next up, I've cured number 103 gel polish. Now I'm going to take the dotting tool end of my blinger, and we are going to go ahead and we're just going to trace over those hearts that we created with our gel polish. And I go uh, oh, like over the line a little bit, outside the line a little bit, just so that if I need to go and add some caviar beads um, around the outside or in between crystals around the perimeter that there is product there for the beads to stick to. I'm just using it bit by bit. It's kind of hard to see because of course we're working on a shiny surface here, but I'm just filling in that heart with stick it. Oh, Sandra, you could do this for sure. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start, I like to start personally with the larger size crystals. Um, this just kind of gives me a rough idea of where I need to start placing the smaller ones and I like to have a couple bigger ones on there. Um, for the bigger hearts, of course, I have a couple larger ones. The smaller hearts, we obviously do not have room for the number 16s, so we'll work smaller. But rule of thumb for me is I start with the larger ones and then work my way down and kind of fill as I go. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab one of these beautiful SS16 Fuchsia stones. They're so pretty, so sparkly. And then I'm going to grab, let's grab one of the SS12 Rose Opal because they're just super pretty also. So looking at the nail here, I also look for balance, so I just wanna make sure that um, it's not too top heavy. So we're gonna have leave room up here for some smaller stones. And over here, um, we may even push this up and we may grab another large stone and put that there. So we've got our larger ones laid first. Let me just see where I need to go Okay, over a little bit. And then I'm going to start going in now with some of the smaller ones and filling in and trying to keep um, the colors as separate as possible. Um, obviously, there's going to be some areas where some of the um, colors will be similar. Like here, I'm going to have to put an SS3 rose opal, and that's okay. So we start filling in with the crystals. And then you're going to see that there's obviously spaces where the crystals are not going to fill. And that's where our uh, caviar beads will come in handy just to kind of help finish off the overall shape and fill in any gaps. 
So it's helpful for me when I'm doing a design like this, like I showed you guys, I had all my crystals kind of laid out um, and that way I can just quickly grab, in theory quickly grab, but I'm always like, oh, what color should I put here? What color should I put here? <laughs> and then we just pop them down, place them down. The beautiful thing about working with Stick It with crystals is that you can literally just keep sliding them around if you need to. They're not going to cure in place until you pop it in the lamp. So you have full flexibility to work with your crystal placement until you're happy. And we'll just keep filling in here. These fuchsia ones are so rich. They're so beautiful. Whoops. Filling in and just keeping in mind that any um, gaps we can use our crystal or sorry our caviar beads to fill in also so um, and that's why it's great that we have a mix the, our wheels come with different sizes I believe there's four sizes in each wheel um, with our rose gold gold and silver caviar beads so you have the flexibility um, to be able to use different sizes um, when filling in spaces like this or with your crystal work uh, to create really, really intricate designs. Okay, so we've got our crystals laid down. Let's go ahead. We're going to start putting in some caviar beads. So I grab a few on the end of my dotting tool here, and we're just going to start placing them down and filling them in where spaces need to be filled. So obviously larger spaces, I'm going to use either one larger bead or I'll use a couple of the smaller ones. We'll just start popping that in place. Making sure I'm not. When people charge a client for an ear like this, do you charge for gem? Mm. That's a good question. I mean, I know some people do, but you could kind of, if you had a display on your on your desk, you could kind of have a, a pre-set price um, for designs like this. But I mean, you also, whenever you're charging, Chloe, you always have to keep in mind of the time it takes you as well. Your time is money also, so it's not just the, um, oops, sorry, I just pushed my hand in gel here. It's not just the product, it's the time that it takes you to do it as well. All right, got some more caviar on my linger tool here, and I'm just placing them into that extra sticket that we laid down. Holding my breath slightly too. <laughs> and slide stuff around where it needs to be. Just flip this. You can flip your client's hand too and look how it looks from all angles. See if it's um, heavier on one side or like shifted to one side. So far so good, I think. Go ahead and add, whoops, a bead there. Alrighty, I think we're almost here for this one. Let's just see. How are we liking this so far? I think this looks okay. I think this looks good. So what we're going to do, actually, you know what, just to really finish it off to make it come to a nice point, I'm going to add a small bead at the bottom here, just to bring it to a, a little point. There we go. That looks better to me. Okay. Just sliding stuff around. Like I said, that's the beautiful thing about Stick It, you guys. That you have the flexibility to move stuff around until you're totally happy with it, and then you can pop it in the lamp for a cure. I think. Sometimes, though, I have to know when enough is enough and to stop playing around with it. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's pop this in the lamp for a cure. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do the smaller heart. So for the smaller heart, I definitely did not use um, anything larger. I didn't use the SS-16s. I think here I used SS-10 
and under um, at most, probably even SS8 and under. Um, of course, depending on the size of the heart that you painted. So the one I've got above, um, the one that we're working on is a bit bigger than this. So we'll take a peek together once it comes out of the lamp, just to see what kind of um, sizes that we may need. Christical says she'd charge per design. And I think I would too, honestly, because it may become with, uh, it may become not too expensive, but it's easier, I think, if you just say, okay, you want a crystal heart, it's this much. And you could just kind of pre-calculate in your mind um, how much it would cost you and how long you think it would take you. And then you can give them a flat price. And I think that's easier. Prime example of where I, why I wear gloves when I work, you guys, I've got gel, like, look at me. <laughs> I've got gel polish all over, but that's why I wear gloves to keep myself protected. So I'm not overexposing myself to product. Okie dokie. So now let's jump in. We're going to do our, make sure I'm in the frame here. I'm having problems with that today. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay. Now we're going to do our little heart here. So let's go ahead, grab more stick it. And if you wanted to, and if you were speedy enough, you could add the stick it to all of your hearts that are on the nail and place all the crystals. But just keep in mind, when you are working on a client, the warmth of their hand will warm up the stick it, even though it's on an enhancement. So that could cause the gel to become a little bit more fluid. And sometimes if you have too much stick it on there, it could cause the crystals to shift a little bit. So if you take a little bit of time like me, and like to fuss with some stuff, I would suggest just doing one heart at a time just to keep yourself from having to chase everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in here and I think I'm gonna grab an SS, uh, let me just double check my size here. This one is an SS8 pink opal, sorry, rose opal. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorites. And the mix of these um, pinks together is so pretty. I just, uh, I love it. <laughs> crystals got me falling. I mean, I've always loved crystals, but crystals really got me falling in love with crystals. Just watching her work. It depends on what bling you use also. Big bling versus little bling. That's very, very true. And um, how much you're doing too. Not a lot of people that I see would have a nail this long with a heart this size or hearts this size, it would probably be smaller. Um, so keeping that in mind too. But I think it's easier, I know for myself, because I always um, get awkward and I'm like, oh, it's uh, it, don't worry about it, it's okay. But if you have a game plan ahead of time and they ask you, you can be a little bit prepared, then it's easier for you to say, oh, okay, yeah, this design is this much. Okay, so for this one, I've kind of added, I've added the rose opal at the top left here. I've added a light rose on the top right, which the light rose, I believe, is an SS. That one's an SS 10? No. Yes. No. <laughs> I think that one, sorry, I lied. That one's an SS 5. Um, and then I've also got an SS Oh my gosh, I'm confused. This one's SS8, I believe, and this, this fuchsia is an SS5. And then I'm going to add some, um, just some SS3 white opals on the sides here and see how we're looking. It may be a little bit too bulky, and I think it may be. So what I've done is we've got some space here where there's some of that 103 um, gel polish showing, and that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add crisp, uh, caviar beads there. So I'm just going to grab some of my caviar beads on my dotting tool, and we're just going to fill that in. These caviar beads are a lifesaver um, for filling in crystal designs and just making them look really finished off. Okay, so just keeping in mind the overall shape of a heart. Might need a bigger one on this side. We've got a bigger space here, so let's add two big ones and then a smaller one on the outside. Okay, and then let's take a little peek. How's that looking? I think that looks like a heart. Sometimes it's better not to fuss with it too much. I have to tell myself sometimes less is more, even though it's hard. 
let's put one small bead there and see how it looks. It may be too bulky, but let's try it. I think that, I think that kind of works. Maybe? What do you guys think? I think that works. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's pop that in the lamp for a cure. And while we're doing that, we'll kind of recap what we've used. So we've used our beautiful Clear as Mud crystals in all different shades, or sorry, all different sizes and shades. And I will list these in the video description once we're all finished here today. We've also used some of our Clear as Mud uh, caviar beads in silver. We've used this beautiful number 103 gel polish. It's this beautiful kind of dusty rose um, platinum glitter. And then I also use number seven gel polish, which is this beautiful kind of light bubblegummy pink. And of course our trusty blinger tool, which mine is very well loved and our stick it. And then we're going to seal everything with our no wipe top coat. While that's curing, I also wanted to mention that I am doing a floral um, a floral and lace class coming up March 1st, and we are going to be covering um, a few different things. Let me just scoot these out of the way. We're going to be covering, covering some of my favorite floral and lace techniques. I'll just pop these out here. These are the ones that are on the poster, and we're going to be demo. I'm going to be demoing these in the class. I'm a, I'm a lace and and uh, floral freak, so I'm very excited about this class, and I, I hope to, to see you guys there. Um, the class itself, uh, if you choose to purchase the class by itself, is seventy five dollars Canadian, and then if you choose to purchase it with the kit, it's three thirty six uh, fifty one. Canadian, I believe, before taxes, um, and it comes with a really great kit of all the products that we'll be using in class. Oh, I forgot. I forgot one minute. Hold on one second here. We're missing something. Um, and the class itself is actually going to be held online, um, and it will be a six-hour class, and we'll be covering these techniques here that, oops, that I'm showing you. So we're going to be doing um, kind of textured flowers inspired by cake decorating. We're going to do layered flowers. We're going to do simplified flowers with kind of a watercolor effect. We're going to be doing this doily kind of um, eyelet lace technique that I really, really love. Some simplified flowers, wet on wet technique, some hand painted lace. So it's a good mix of everything kind of lacy and floral. So I hope to see you guys there. If you have any questions, um, don't be afraid to reach out to us at our contact email. Our email is contact at uglyducklingnails.com and um, we're happy to answer any questions you may have. I know, I'm sorry, my phone's upside down. I didn't, uh, my setup is kind of weird, so if I flipped it the other way, the camera would be too far away. Oh, Kim Sippy, I'm so excited. I'm great, to, I'll be excited to see you there. I'm excited to see you there too, Chloe. Will the kit list be posted so we can see if we have... Yes, actually, Sandra, if you go on the Ugly Duckling website and search, um, or if you go to the education tab, my class will be under there, and it has a full kit list of what we'll be using um, for those that may be interested in purchase, purchasing the kit or to see if you have the products already on hand. Okay, let's pop that out of the way. Let's grab our cute little hearts here. So fun for Valentine's Day. Now I'm grabbing my no wipe top coat. And I'm also going to grab my um, detailer brush. If I can find it here. Or my detailer two brush. Let me just grab it from my brush kit. Here we go. Okay. I just got to give it a quick wipe. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to... I always have my detailer two on hand whenever I do crystal work. Uh, so I can kind of get close to those crystals so I don't go over top of them. We never want to cover them because they're so beautiful and so sparkly. We never want to dull their shine. So if you were to put top coat over top of them, it would soften the facets and they wouldn't be as reflective. It would look 
more like kind of like a reflective dome rather than faceted like they are now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm grabbing my no whip top coat. And typically I'll kind of put on um, product like in open spaces like this. Of course, being mindful when you're working on a client, if you're not able to get into their sidewalls with this big brush with um, carefully, then don't do that. Just go ahead and put the product in the main areas. And then you can go in. Um, I'll put some no wipe top coat on my palette um, beside me. And then I will just um, go in either with a painter brush for a larger area or my detailer too, my trusty detailer too. And I'll take some of the no wipe on that. And then I'll just really go in fine tune around those areas, especially around the client's um, side walls and cuticle area because we want always want to avoid flooding the clients um, nails and giving them overexposure to product we always need to be mindful of that so I'm going in now just sealing around everything with no wipe some people choose to uh, seal first and then put their crystals on top this is just how I like to do it I know sometimes crystal will do it um, the opposite way, she'll seal the nail and then she'll put the uh, uh, stick it and everything on top of the nail. So I think it comes down to personal preference, really. Um, but whatever way works for you, please go ahead and do that. So stick it, for those of you who've never used it, stick it will cure uh, with an inhibition layer. So um, just be mindful of that too if you want to go in here and cover anything that may be exposed on the inside where there's no beads. I always like to put a little layer of no wipe over the beads just to keep them secure. Um, and then what you can do once this is cured of course is you can cleanse it so that um, there is no leftover inhibition layer from the shticket. Coming around that back area because there's no way I could have gotten that no white brush in here without A, touching my client's cuticle area, and B, covering up these beautiful clear as mud crystals. Alrighty. I think we've got everything covered here. Maybe a little bit there. in that little crevice there. Okay, I think we've got it covered. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for a cure. No wipe. And our gel polishes are a 60 second cure in our LED lamp. So you got everything seen. Thanks, Christical. Yes, good point. The kit is actually, um, the kit for my online class is at a 40% discount. So you are receiving quite a bit of product. Um, for a 40% discount. So that's um, pretty awesome in itself. We do recommend um, just for, uh, to allow for shipping um, and to any, if there's any delays within the courier, we do recommend ordering the kit if you choose to do so two weeks before the class, um, sorry, no later than two weeks before the class starts, just to allow uh, for any possible delays within the courier. Um, to receive your kit in time for the class. The live class will be held on March 1st, um, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then once the live classes have aired and done, we'll be saving them in the group, and they'll be able to be rewatched until March 22nd. So you'll have three weeks in total to watch the, uh, the online demos, the online classes. And then um, after the three weeks, they'll be taken down. So... I hope to see you guys there. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at our contact email, which is contact at uglyducklingnails.com. Um, just a friendly reminder too, we do have our new beautiful uh, number 202 gel polish that's launching on February 14th for Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. Um, you can see a gorgeous picture of it on our main page on our website right now. Um, and our Clear as Mud crystals that I've used today are all 15% off for the month of February. So some great stuff headed your way from Ugly Duckling. All right, you guys, we've got our finished, 
finished little heart nail here. This is something that you guys could do fairly quickly. I mean, obviously, crystal work does take some time, but once you kind of get into the groove and you start laying things down, it goes a little bit quicker. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo today with all of our beautiful clear as mud crystals. Thanks so much for joining me earlier today. I know usually we go in the afternoon, uh, but we went with the morning this time. So thanks for popping in if you were able to. And if you're watching this later, thanks for watching now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And as always, take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.